Hey eBayers, it's Suzanne and I wanted to give you a bolo in the needlework and craft department. This is included in my needlework course in the premium library. It's a three hour course. This is one of the bolos I mentioned and you'll find this valuable information if you are going to estate sales, garage sales, or church sales. You may be walking right past this item and not even realize it has value because it just looks like a big old jumble of stuff. Okay, the next thing I want to talk to you about is selling the thread. This is a huge part of a uh, needle artist's inventory is all of this thread. So this can be really lucrative. I have sold big containers of cross stitch thread which is called DMC floss for over $125. People who don't craft won't know how much this stuff sells for and these items can often be overlooked at garage sales and thrift stores and let me tell you a story real quick. I had a partnership with a church job networking ministry for a while where I was selling donated items on eBay to help them raise money and they had this huge garage sale every summer and all the people in the church which had a membership of like 5,000 people would donate stuff and they would set up in the fellowship hall um, well actually throughout the whole church but they had a craft section set up where they they were very good at departmentalizing all of their items for this huge sale it was really big and so the couple of years that I was helping them I would go through the items as they were setting up the sale before the public came in and pull things that would be high dollar and sell them on eBay and I saw this big container of cross stitch floss and it was like a maybe a two foot by one foot tall clear Rubbermaid container with a handle on it and I just grabbed that and I'm like yeah they they had three dollars on it and I'm like oh no this this is very valuable and so I put it on eBay and it sold for a hundred and thirty nine dollars and to this day they still tell that story because none of those ladies knew anything about this all the ladies that were setting up the sale um, they couldn't believe I could just walk in there and look and pick out things I knew would sell for a lot of money. They were just astounded at that knowledge. And I thought, well, everybody knows this. You know, I've been doing cross stitch since I was 15 years old and I know how much this stuff costs. And I, you know, I just, I knew because I had experience. But so don't ever judge, don't ever think that everyone knows what you know because they don't. And that's why eBay is so interesting is because we all know different things. So now you know this. <laughs> um, but we'll see that when we go through the completed listings in a minute. You'll see what I'm talking about. But uh, people who do stitchery have huge amounts of this stuff. And each project requires specific colors. And there is, I want to say, always thread left over when a project is completed. Um, because even if you run out, you go buy more of that color and then you're going to have that left over. So this stuff accumulates quickly and the objective of someone who does a lot of stitchery is that you want all this on hand so that when you start a new project you don't have to go and get more colors to have what you need for the project. You already have it. So the way this floss works is there is a number for each color. There are 489 colors and so when you have your uh, pattern or these books that have the patterns inside um, every color corresponds to a number so like if we look back at this floss see how these numbers on here 3894 3890 everything has a number so it's like paint by number but it's with thread so you would either go online or go to the craft store and get the colors you need to make that project so that's why there's so much of it out there and why people who do needlework keep a lot on hand is because it accumulates and you end up with a lot of it and 
Retail prices for this stuff can be anywhere between 50 cents and $7 per skein of thread, depending on what it is. The metallics, the blended, there's tie dyes, there's prism, those are the most expensive. And usually it's just like all mixed together and you don't really know what's in there. But um, some crafters, not all, have an organization system. And this is the way I did mine is you un you unroll the skein of thread here and you put it around these little cardboard bobbins or little cards so that when it's time to pull the thread off and do your project it's all organized so I'm showing you this because you may see something like this at an estate sale thrift store, sale, thrift store garage sale whatever and that doesn't look like it's very valuable but it is. You could sell something like that with the thread already organized and what you do is you write the color or that this person's super organized, they've typed it, um, on the skein of thread and you put these in order by number so that when you're working on your project, oh I need number 334, I need number 892 and, and you can go right to it. It's all organized. So that's what this is. If you see these plastic boxes with these little cards and thread around them that's what this is and you're gonna see in a minute how much this sells for this took a lot of work for somebody to unroll all of those skeins of thread put them on these cards number them and in most cases put them in order some people will put them in order by color but really the most organized way is to do it by numerical order so you can find what you need quickly so you may see it like this in these clear boxes or you may see something like this <laughs> just a big pile of these threads and that's why I have taken this whatever 10 minutes to tell you what this is because now when you walk into an estate sale or you go to the thrift store and you see a big Ziploc bag like full of these things you're gonna know what that is and you're going to know this is money. This isn't just uh, some thread somebody gave away. This has a very specific purpose for a very specific buyer. And I have sold big collections like this for fifty to a hundred dollars because you've got the cost of the thread, you've got the person's time that organized it like this, and it's all ready. And crafters like to buy it that way. You may also see something like this, where it's just like somebody has all this leftover stuff. Maybe they bought it at a garage sale, or they got it at a clearance sale at Hobby Lobby or one of the craft stores or whatever. You may see this big jumble of skeins of thread and that's valuable so let's look at some completed listings for yarns and threads so you can get an idea of what they sell for okay this is a search for DMC floss lot you can see there are related searches I'm not going to do all of these but some sellers might not know this keyword to put in their title they may just call it embroidery thread or whatever but what you need to know is that people who do these needle crafts that's what they're gonna call it DMC floss because that's the name of it when you go to buy it so you want to make sure you have your keywords right uh, now here's two really big sales for 2500 and 3300 skeins that is a huge amount of stuff and those both sold for around $500 we've got another lot they've got it displayed really nicely there on a table this was probably an estate sale either leftover or maybe they tried to sell it online as they were setting up their estate sale but that's what it looks like to me this one wasn't so organized but it's still sold it's just a big old pile of DMC floss so if you don't want to even organize it it'll still sell and then here's some more. This lot of 1,200 skeins went for $325. And then we've got 1,000 skeins went for $263. So you can see that this thread 
can sell for a lot of money and if you're not a crafter you wouldn't know that it's all about what you know look at this huge lot here 375 new vintage variegated variety so it's got some of those expensive ones in there with the variegated or blended colors not seeing a lot on the cards here's one vintage DMC embroidery floss four box lot so someone has organized that wrapped the thread on the bobbins and they have it all organized in the plastic containers which is how a crafter would use them and that sold for well it went on best offer so it doesn't tell us here we've got another one here a lot of 840 floss went for 138 dollars and you might think that's a lot like wow you sold 800 skeins of thread but these are so small that they don't take up that much room and it's very easy to ship it's not going to break you don't have to really do anything to it when you ship it and put it in a box or even a uh, poly mailer depending on how much you have so I hope that you've learned something here about this embroidery thread because if you're not a crafter you're not going to know how much money's in this stuff and if you want to learn more about how to make money selling needlework supplies kits and related items on eBay come take my course the link to the premium library is below the video thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye